if you're working on a driving school website, we have the layout for you. This great looking layout is easily installed on your website and you can do it within minutes. So let me show you how that's done and how you can customize this layout. First thing you want to make sure is to create a new page where you would like this driving school template loaded. Then click on the title or the edit button under the title to edit the page. Here click edit with Elementor to open Elementor page builder. First thing you might want to do here is to go to settings and then change page layout. I want to get rid of this default header and the footer so I want to choose Elementor canvas here. And as you can see this is going to leave me with only a blank page. To add our layout on the page we are going to do two things. First we are going to import our template and insert it to the page and then we are going to also add CSS code for it. So let's start with the first one. Click add template button and here uh, Elementor library is going to open. If you are not familiar with it, it has the pages tab with some built-in pages layouts you can choose. There is also a blocks tab. Uh, where you can choose some individual sections you can choose to compose your page and there's also my templates tab all the templates that you have imported on your own are going to be listed here we don't have any yet so what we want to do is to click this import button here and import our driving school layouts to it navigate to files you downloaded and then select driving school elementor template import JSON file. Click on it and then click open button. In a moment you'll see a driving school template uh, added in this list here and what you want to do next is to click on the insert button. Moment you do that driving school uh, template is going to be laid out on your page. It already looks good enough but we also have to add the CSS code so to make it look exactly as the same as on the demo page we seen earlier. For that you want to navigate back to files you have downloaded and open driving school elementor template CSS file with your text editor. I use notepad++ as my text editor. You can use any other uh, text editing software you may use. And here I want to select and copy everything. And what I want to do with it is that I want to paste it in my theme options. I use 2017 uh, default theme in this example so I want to go to appearance then customize. And here I want to toggle additional CSS box and paste the CSS inside it. Now I want to click publish button and uh, now we can preview our page to make sure it looks good. And there we go. Let me also show you how you can customize this template. Let's start with the first section for example and let me show you how you can uh, update this background image. For that you want to hover over this section and then go to edit section. Here click style and then simply click on the image and replace it with a new one. Let's choose anything from our library and click insert media and as you can see it is going to be uh, replaced on the website uh, immediately. To update the text you want to click on it then change the content if you want our new text for example and then you want to go to style tab and change the text color. As well you can uh, click this pencil icon here next to typography and change the font size, uh, letter spacing and anything else perhaps. To update these buttons once again you want to click on it and then go to style tab and here you want to change for example the background color, border color and something else perhaps. Don't forget to change the hover uh, state of the button too. To update uh, these elements here let's for example change these yellow borders to green as well. Uh, I want to choose, I want to click edit column here and then go to style. Here you want to update border. Let's choose green. There we go. Uh, what else perhaps? Uh, these elements here uh, you can uh, once again click on it then you can choose 
some other image now we have a duplicate <laughs> uh, and in style tab you can for example change the image size uh, and some other options here in advanced tab you can change the border by toggling the border then changing the color uh, so pretty much that's all all you have to do is to click on an element go navigate through content style and advanced tabs and change all the settings you need in worst case refer back to the CSS that you added perhaps there are some colors that you can update there and you can also add your own CSS there that's it uh, for this tutorial I hope you like our uh, driving school template and that you like Elementor. Thanks for watching.